what time it is. You ready to go to the garden? You ready to go to work? recap from a long video that I had done a couple years ago. We are refilling in place, but there are some things you have to do to revitalize the potting mix in order to do that. This is actually third season. This potting mix was new last spring, and um, so that was first season. And then in the fall, we planted, so that was second season. And now we here, here we are, spring, summer, of 2022 so this is third season so the first thing that we have to do is Ooh, ants. ants oh that's not good oh wow they're all over it first yeah. thing we have to do is get rid of the ants well, I'm gonna dump this one. there are things you can do to get rid of ants in your containers but honestly it, it would take so long because these buckets were completely full of ants. We had four of the large buckets. None of the rest, just four. So we ended up dumping them uh, pretty far away on the property, and we will spray those ants to try to kill the queen. You can run water through um, your bucket until you see it running out the bottom and the ants will leave. You can also use insecticidal soap and neem, that sort of thing. But again, we were trying to just get going here, so it was easier just to sacrifice the potting mix in those buckets. Um, we always have holes around here that need filling. See, there's another one. So strange. Not the five gallon buckets. Hmm. Can you hear the bees? I just love the combination of the tangerine colored honeysuckle and the clematis that's starting to bloom. We are down here at our mixing station. As you can see, there's a boatload of empty green buckets because last year we were so late in getting the garden in, we decided to just do half the garden. But this year, we are doing the whole garden. 90-something buckets out there. What we need to do now is make some new mix to add to our third season. Um, and then we'll take you, after we do the mix, we'll take you back over and show you real quickly in a bucket how to reconstitute your third season. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Jumping from cliffs so high 
trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down side note here we bought all these green buckets from uline five years ago we've not had one single bucket crack no it's not weather that's a problem for our buckets now what kind of critter do you think gnawed on the top of this bucket that was left out yeah tree rats yes i've got several herbs that are very overgrown and need trimming <laughs> sometimes you just don't get to it all talk potting mix. We have been gardening since 2008. We've done raised beds, uh, mostly in ground. But in 2016 is when we found rain gutter garden system. Saw a video on it, did a test gutter. It was tremendous. So much of a difference from in ground. And after we did that test, that's when we decided to change all of our gardening beds to the rain gutter grow system in buckets. That, of course, means that you have to have potting mix in your buckets. Now, we have 102 buckets in these gardens. Uh, our tomatoes are in 14 gallons. The... Uh, slicer type tomatoes, the indeterminate tomatoes. And then all the rest are five gallons. It's a total of 618 gallons of potting mix. Can you imagine how costly that would be to buy pre-made bags of potting mix? Can you use pre-made bags of potting mix in this? Of course you can. But not only is it expensive, you really have to know what you're buying and be able to read the ingredients. You know, Larry Hall, when he developed this system, uh, came up with a potting mix recipe and uh, my really good friend, Bud, uh, who's on my group page, he's my gardening guru, and another gentleman named Keith, um, they helped Larry in really perfecting the potting mix recipe. So my theory is um, don't change what's working. In addition to that, making your own potting mix is far cheaper than buying pre-made potting mix. 
Having said that, any potting mix you have is going to break down over time. Most potting mixes use sphagnum peat moss. You might be able to find some out there that use coconut coir. But either way, it's going to break down. Now the way the rain gutter garden system works is in the bottom of the five gallon bucket, you have a neck cup and that serves as the wick. You fill that neck cup with your potting mix, put more, more real sloppy wet mix on top of that. And then you can put your just moistened potting mix um, all the way up to the top of the bucket. Over time, peat moss breaks down. And so you have to revive it. By the time you have used this potting mix one season, and then the second season, uh, it's not as broken down. Uh, we basically just fill up the bucket, take the top two inches off and fill up the buckets with new mix and that's it. But with third season, it's a little different. And that's what I want to recap for you now. Um, peat moss does break down, as I said, and when it does, it condenses. And when it condenses, you're losing a lot of those little air pockets that you had when your peat moss was fresh and fluffy. So there are two things that I want to show you about reconstituting third season mix. Um, we're gonna do just a regular five gallon bucket first. And then I'm going to show you um, one of the 14 gallon buckets that we grow tomatoes in because with tomatoes and also with peppers, um, there's some additional things that you want to add. We grow peppers in five gallon bucket, whatever container you're using to grow peppers and tomatoes. And it's either second or third season that you're using the mix. These are the additional amendments that are suggested to add. All right, this is your typical bucket for third season. Now, if you'll notice, um, go away wasp. It seems way sunken, four to six inches down. Well, two reasons for that. Number one, you just get normal settlement anyway in your buckets over the course of a season. So it'll already probably be about two inches below your top of your container. The second reason this is down is because we removed the top two inches. And the purpose of that is disease prevention. Um, any spores or pest larvae that might have laid their eggs in the soil over the winter more than likely would reside in the top two inches of the potting mix. So that was removed. After that, we also removed any additional roots from the vegetables that were growing. So this is where we're at right now. To reconstitute third season, and this is for just regular vegetables other than tomatoes and peppers, I'm going to take half of that out and put it in this bucket. Okay, so I have half mix in here, half mix in here. This is a two cup measure. To the five gallon pail, I'm going to add a generous cup and a half of perlite. That's gonna help keep it aerated and keep those little air pockets in there. Additionally, for nutrients, I'm adding a generous cup to a five gallon pail of worm castings. On top of that, I'm gonna pour in a little new mix in this bucket, and I'm gonna pour a little new mix in this bucket, which I cannot do the way I've got it. Ugh. Okay, and now comes the hubby with the drill to mix this up, mix that up. By the way, this is a great little drill bit to have in your garden supplies. It's actually an auger bit, uh, and we use it to drill holes for planting bulbs. Now we just need to take this bucket and fill, fill it all the way up. 
Can you do it for me, baby? We used almost all of it. But we'll just keep it in the wheelbarrow, the little excess, and use that too. And that's all there is to reconstituting uh, potting mix for third season. Now let's show you what we need to do next uh, with a tomato, reconstituting for tomatoes, which is this large one right here. Yep, they don't need all right, we're at our 14 gallon buckets that we use for indeterminate tomatoes. Um, the rule of thumb on container growing with tomatoes is that you need a container seven gallons or larger. Um, and really the larger kind of the better for tomatoes. Gives them a lot of nutrients and room for those roots to really grow. Randy's already removed half of the mix here. So we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to double the amount. Um, you could even triple the amounts actually, because this is 14 versus a five. So. Four or five cups of perlite. Two. Four. Um, that's plenty of the worm castings. Now we want to pour a little bit of our new mix in there. Okay, now before we stir it, there are two more amendments that you want to add for your tomatoes and peppers. Uh, and the purpose of this is to help prevent bare, blossom and rot. And the two things you want to add are Epsom salt, which is magnesium, and gypsum, which is calcium. And calcium in the form of gypsum will not change the pH of your mix. The other important thing is that magnesium and calcium can, those two minerals can fight each other. So it's very important when you do this to measure and make sure that you are doing equal amounts. Now, normally we just say a handful. Well, my hand, I measured like a couple years ago was an eighth, eighth of a cup. Um, it doesn't matter if your handful is a fourth of a cup, go for it. Just make sure that your Epsom and your gypsum are the same amounts. In this big container, I am going to put a fourth of a cup. In pepper containers where it's a five gallon, or in cherry tomatoes where I grow in five gallon, I'll probably just do the eighth of a cup. I'm gonna put a little bit more in these large ones. This is an eighth cup measure. So there's my quarter. Gypsum. There's my quarter. And from here we do the same thing. Mix this up. He's got the old mix in the bucket. We'll add new to both things, stir it up, and fill it up. And now our tomato bucket is ready to go. Squirrels. They hide their nuts in my potting mix in the winter.
Tell me about the good old days Sometimes it feels like This world's gone crazy Grandma Take me back to yesterday Where the line between right and wrong Didn't seem so
You're gonna mix up all my peppers. Beside you.